Hey guys, Machines and Metal here. Just wanted to show you this uh, Fiskars Push Real Mower I picked up today off of a local buy and sell website. This was actually free, guys. It got posted yesterday um, for free. The customer put in the description that it did not work and she wanted someone to come take it away. Now, I don't know why it came with two handles. It's kind of odd. Obviously, there's another one of these machines out there somewhere now without a handle. But uh, anyway, there's two handles. So, yeah. But I picked it up, and uh, when I grabbed it, I noticed that the reel is stuck. See? It doesn't... See, it's really tight. It's, 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 it's seized, I guess, is a good way to put it. Um, these are really expensive lawnmowers, guys. I think these sell for close to $200 maybe even a little bit more than that. They're built like army tanks. They're heavy duty. The, the reel in them is as heavy as the reel on a gas powered machine. And thus it does not require um, the amount of sharpening service that some of the other brands of these push reel mowers do require. This one actually has a really nice edge on it, guys. I could probably make this work without even a backlap, but there's something going on because like I said, there's a, there's a real tight spot right there and it seems to roll the rest of the way but when it comes down to right there it jams generally what that means is you've got a bent blade now I think that right there is the spot where it's catching it's hard to tell do it again bring it down see right there no, it's on the left side, guys. It seems to be right there. Right in there. Yeah, right. Guys, right there, I can feel it. There's actually a there's a lump there. That red spot of, of rust. It's um, uneven. You can actually see... Can you tell? It's hard to tell if that's bent or not, but right... Sorry. Right there. That little... That little spot is high and it's rubbing on the bed knife. So, yeah, I bet you guys, if we took um, we took a file and just kind of touched that up a little bit right there, kind of filed that flat, this thing would probably spin and then we could do a uh, bed knife adjustment on it. So back here, there's the adjustment screws for the bed knife. Give it a real quick back lap, just a light one with some 80 grit lapping compound, the, the, the thicker, coarser stuff that we use on the gas powered reel mowers here, and uh, set this up. And guys, we could sell this, you know, we could put this back on a different, I don't like reselling things that I just picked up for free on the same buy and sell website. I like putting them on a different buy and sell website. I got about two or three of them going on, but uh, we could probably sell this for $100. Um, you might even be able to get a little bit more for it, guys. Uh, people go to like Home Depot or Rona and they see these things for, for 200 plus dollars and then they go on their phone and they look for a used one real quick. And if you can advertise this and say it's been serviced and sharpened and it runs like new and you want $125 for it, they'll drive by your house and pick it up that day. So this is a great score, guys. These Fiskars, you don't see these come up that often for free. And uh, I'm going to make video number two uh, eventually here this week, hopefully. Uh, show you how to how to fix that that ding and um, how to give this thing a quick backlop. Uh, be exciting time to, to, to move a Fiskars more. Someone will be really happy with this beast. Anyways, uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video. And uh, thanks very much for watching.